Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well, clearly Matt Hand on his car, or actually maybe also the government, didn't like the recent whistleblowing about the former health secretary because homes have been raided in the hunt for the whistleblowers, causing actually quite a bit of fury. Let's begin. Okay, just to let you know, I don't have a dedicated upload schedule, so the best way to see my videos as soon as I put them online is by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, this story is from The Sun and it says, Fury as homes raided in hunt for Matt Hancock's affair whistleblowers, despite your right to know about his rule breaking. Yesterday, the Information Commissioner's Office seized computers and other devices after searching two properties in the south of England. Now obviously the hidden CCTV camera was probably classed as a, I'm guessing a breach of national security or something like that. And for all sorts of legal reasons, I've got to say that I'm therefore not trying to say that it was right that a government employee, minister or department was spied on. But it did expose the blatant hypocrisy of Matt Hancock, didn't it? Especially at a time where I think there are more restrictions in place than what there are now. And he was obviously saying one thing to us, but doing the other <coughs> lady. Oh God, I've got a bit of a cough there, haven't I? Anyway, and therefore breaking the very rules that he, as health secretary, probably actually helped to come up with. But their overkill pro was branded a menace by the free press, MPs, campaigners, and the public who said the tipsters should be given a medal. There were also fears that the raids may act as a deterrent to other whistleblowers, leaving other scandals uncovered as a result. It may put a f maybe the odd one or two off, but I reckon whistleblowers are actually aware of any risks that may be involved, and could probably be actually quite paid quite well if they sell their stories or findings to, I don't know, the newspapers. Although, I don't know if that was indeed the case with this one. Either way though, I doubt many would actually be put off. Anyway, now the link is subject to an ICO investigation under the Data Protection Act, with the Kwango relying on little used powers to conduct their raids yesterday. But the body was hit with a massive backlash last night with politicians, campaigners and voters in Mr Hancock's constituency accusing it of a massive overreaction. So let's see what I feel these MPs have to say. Labour's Shadow Security Minister, Connor McGinn, hit out, this story it was clearly in the public interest. Any illegality must be investigated, but we need to ensure that the whistleblowers can continue to play their vital part in keeping organisations accountable. Lib Dem leader Sir Ed Davies said the Sun were right to publish these photos. They were clearly in the public interest. The Sun is also absolutely right to protect its sources, and that, to be honest, is a very good point, isn't it? Journalists must protect their sources. Tory Gillian Knight, boss of the powerful Commons Culture, Media and Sports Committee said, I can't comment on an investigation in progress, but the freedom of the press and their ability where necessary to act in the public interest is a cornerstone of our democracy and we endanger that at our peril. And yes, that is a very good point, isn't it? And in fact, if this never happened, we would have never even found out about this, would we? And as I said, I doubt many whistleblowers would actually be put off anyway.